I am not against vitamin D supplementation when it's for the right person, the right patient, and the right reason. So that's not the case, and that's not what's behind this video. In fact, a lot of people need vitamin D, including myself. I am vitamin D deficient, and right now I'm on a high-dose vitamin D supplement from my doctor. But you need to know that there are some potential dangers of taking vitamin D. And I don't think we talk about this enough. Vitamin D is all over the place and many people are encouraged to take it, but you need to know what the potential downsides are. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill. I'm a practicing family physician. That's what we're talking about today. The first thing, and probably one of the things that matters to me the most is the potential for vitamin D toxicity. What does that mean? That means you can actually take too much vitamin D. That's why you don't just want to go out and pick whatever dose and take it however way without telling your doctor, because you could end up taking too much and it could cause major problems. Let's talk about what some of those problems are. And by the way, my source is the NIH. They uh, say that very high levels of vitamin D would be um, uh, on a lab. It would be greater than 150 nanograms per milliliter. Now, first of all, let me just stop right there. Notice I said on a lab. Vitamin D levels can and should be checked. If you were taking vitamin D, this needs to be checked, not only to monitor your levels, right, to see where you are, but if you're being treated for a vitamin D deficiency, that's the only way we're really going to know if you're getting to where you need to get, okay? But it's also a way to make sure you're not taking too much or getting too much vitamin D. Some symptoms of uh, very high levels of vitamin D, uh, this is over the 150 nanograms per milliliter, nausea and vomiting can happen, muscle weakness confusion, um, pain, loss of appetite, even uh, dehydration, you can increase urination or thirst, kidney stones even. Some people have high calcium levels that we see on labs or other electrolyte abnormalities because vitamin D does a whole lot of things in our body. And let me tell you, I've had patients with vitamin D toxicity. They've taken too much vitamin D and when we check their levels, they are through the roof. And not only that, they have had symptoms. Once we've stopped the vitamin D, uh, lowered it, stopped it, whatever, um, their symptoms have resolved, uh, their labs got better, etc. Know that vitamin D toxicity can happen. But by the way, if you have extremely high levels of vitamin D in your system, it can cause kidney failure. It can cause irregular heartbeats, even death potentially. Again, this is according to the NIH, and I'm telling you this not to scare you, but I'm telling you this so that you're, you'll be mindful. Don't just take anything at any dose and any way without talking to your doctor. And honestly, I believe before you should start taking a vitamin D supplement, I believe you should talk to your doctor and get tested uh, if they think it's appropriate to see if you even need it or not. Remember, we get vitamin D not just from supplements, but from our food and drinks and things like that. Now, there are many people who get enough vitamin D, and the sun as well, right? Other things. There are plenty of people who get enough vitamin D, but there are many of us who don't. So, you know, it, 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 and it, you need to know if you need vitamin D, either because of lab levels or some underlying condition that your doctor is trying to treat or deal with, etc. My point here is that make sure it's um, under the care of your doctor. Don't just do this by yourself. And if it and when it's under the care of your doctor, you should be getting regular lab work to make sure that you're not taking in toxic levels. OK, now, something I do want to tell you is that um, uh, this uh, vitamin D toxicity generally is caused not so much by the sunlight that we get but rather from taking supplements. It's not really caused from the sunlight because our skin limits the amount of vitamin D it makes, okay? So that is, like I mentioned, another way that we get vitamin D, but you know, it's usually, if we have vitamin D toxicity, it's usually because of the supplements that we're taking. Keep in mind again, that when we're talking about vitamin D, you might be getting vitamin D from multiple sources, okay? Not just your vitamin D tablet or capsule or whatever you're taking, but if you're also taking a multivitamin or something else, there might be vitamin D in that as well. Not only that, but from the food and sunlight and all sorts of other stuff, you might be getting enough vitamin D or too much. Now, um, according to the NIH, the upper limit for vitamin D intake from all sources per day, this is for adults, should be 4,000 international units. But of course, if your doctor is treating a particular condition or ha you know, you're deficient or something like that, um, that dose likely is going to be different. The 4,000 units is not for you to go out and buy 
something. It's not to help you figure out what to buy. It's just to let you know that there are thresholds for all of these things. And once again, encourage you to see your doctor so that they can guide you on how much they think you should be taking if they think you need to be taking vitamin D at all. Okay. Um, all right. So there's a lot more to say about vitamin D. This is just a, you know one thing. Let me tell you about the other uh, potential danger of vitamin D. And there's other potential dangers too. I'm just focusing on these two in this video. Um, there can be potential interactions with vitamin D, just like with any supplements or vitamins or even medication there can be uh, interactions uh, with drugs, with um, medications, with other supplements. So some medications that can sort of be a little funny with vitamin D, number one, Orlistat, which is used for weight loss, um, can um, uh, decrease levels of vitamin D. Important to keep in mind. I got my list here. Just a couple more meds. Um, statins, actually, those are medications we use for cholesterol, may not work as well with high dose vitamin D. Keep that in mind. Uh, steroids can lower vitamin D levels. Uh, and thiazine, diuretics, we often use those for blood pressure and other things, um, could raise calcium levels too high if someone is also on a vitamin D supplement, okay? I'm not telling you those things so that you can go in and say, stop those medications or change them. Nope, it's just to give you food for thought and let you know that, you know, nothing in this world comes without potential risks versus benefits. And vitamin D supplementation is the same way. We are seeing it everywhere. Everyone is sort of be, becoming aware of how many of us are vitamin D deficient. Also, how much much vitamin D may play a role in with our bodies. I have other videos on vitamin D, so I talk about that kind of stuff, like the benefits of vitamin D, how it helps our body and stuff like that. So I have videos on that. But the world is becoming way more conscious of this, which is great, which is awesome. But please do not mistake this consciousness as sort of a green light to just go take anything, however, whatever, which way and whatever dose without getting checked. Um, be evaluated like a baseline level to see what your numbers are, being monitored if you're taking vitamin D, making sure your dose, your doctor approves of the dose, uh, taking the right amount uh, based on whatever condition your doctor is trying to treat, etc. Just be mindful of this. Guys, let me know what you are doing. I want to know, are you taking vitamin D? Um, what dose are you taking? Has your doctor recommended it? How have you gone about it? Are you getting your levels checked? Write in the comments. Also, please share this video with other people. I do want to spread the word. Take a look at my other videos on vitamin D as well. I hope they're helpful. For those of you on Facebook, please like and follow my page. Um, also, for those on Facebook, um, go to YouTube to see my other videos on uh, vitamin D um, and, and other vitamins and supplements. You can also search on Facebook as well. YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. Um, guys, go to my website, drjencoddle.com, because I do have a free health newsletter that comes out every week, um, so you won't miss a video or anything like that, and I'm on social media literally everywhere. I have a WhatsApp channel, I'm on uh, TikTok, I'm on Instagram, uh, obviously, Facebook and, and YouTube, um, you name it, at Dr. Jen Coddle. So make sure you follow me there. Send me a note, let me know what you think. This is just the beginning, just one little piece of vitamin D, okay? It's a very, very important, important thing, but just make sure that um, you are being mindful and that you're talking to your doctor. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician. I hope this is helpful. I'll see you soon.